On Thursday, the U.S. jobless claims totaled 1.5 million, which is worse than expected. Bank of England extended QE by 100 billion pounds, and the Swiss National Bank signaled stronger currency intervention if needed. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. We have on Friday the UK retail sales and speeches from several Fed figures, including Jerome Powell. Today I'm looking at the Swiss yen pair, which has been unable to break above the 114 resistance zone since the end of 2018 and once again turned back down the beginning of June. While the pair remains above the daily jungle cloud, its strongest support is at 111. A strategy for bears could be shorting now, and a strategy for bulls could be monitoring the support and potentially going long once it's reached. The next support level is at 109. What do you think of a range trade between 114 and 111? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.